Many people are asking how an angelic human differs from other human beings. You know, other human beings simply going to work, caring for children, planning a vacation. How do you know if the message you hear or feel is your message as an angelic human? What tool or tools does a human messenger, that's what the angelic human is, what tools does a human messenger have that allows for the expression of divinity in the physical body? Well, first of all, we want you to know that you know the answers to these questions because they lie within your heart. You know the answers as clearly as you know your own name, yet you do not know that you know. It is your heart that hears the message, the message you carry as an angelic human. It is your heart that transmits the information through your brain-mind complex and then awaits the word or action that is next. So in this we would ask you, how often do you listen to your heart? How often do you feel or hear what it tells you quite clearly and then follow its guidance? Aha, the gotcha. The gotcha involved within the transmission of the information from the heart to the brain lies in your mind's conditioning to hearing inner messages. It's your programming. So no matter the environment, your heart is very often overridden by your mind out of fear, doubt, distrust, your mind says, is this real? Is my message real? And by message, we mean that which is the deepest yearning of your heart. And you will not know the answer of what is the deepest yearning of your heart in the moment of listening to our words. Because you have to sit in the silence of your being and get past all of the layers of your thoughts, which are many, to arrive at the true yearning of that which is within your heart that tells you what your message is. And the reason that this process is important is because the earth, the world, the illusion of this reality in which you are living does not hold a construct for listening to your heart. It holds constructs for following prescribed cultural beliefs. It holds constructs for making other people happy, making sure you are safe, looking for approval, not stepping outside the box. Don't color outside the lines, Mother said, when you got your new coloring book, remember? And yet it is the angelic human who hears the message and acts. It is the angelic human who listens to the heart, hears the message that is to be given or acted upon, and literally allows no override to take over that message. And if your shadow self comes up, you know, your doubting self, use it as a tool. You can use your own doubt to prove to yourself that your message is real, allow the doubt, the skepticism to be. Simply ask it to accompany you as you begin to bring your message to the fore. And the message doesn't have to be words and it doesn't have to be a specific action. The message is the way you hold your beingness in life, day in and day out. Your message is how you experience you as source in form. And then from that standpoint of literally loving with no conditions, no expectations, no anticipations, you perform each action, you say each word, you hold each thought within your brain-mind complex in a relaxed way, in a loving way, and in an open way. Because when your mind is relaxed, your open mind sits ready to accept the invitation of your heart. And that invitation asks you to blend with the consciousness of your essential self. Then you become an actual part of your message. This is the gift. Then your ego personality and your divine self, your Christos anointing, are blended into one. And you are aware of yourself as an angelic human. Your call to awaken lies dormant within your DNA. It takes only the subtle shifting of energies and the surrender to the movement of love within you to align with your awareness of your call. It is an offering of great magnitude. It is that for which you came. Heed the call. Be alert to your message. And know that as you are being all to yourself, all that you can be to yourself, that you are being all that you can be to all that is. 
which means that you realize you are all that is. Source sourcing itself, all that is experiencing all that is. That is the message of the angelic human. However it may come up, however it may be expressed, do not shy away from this awareness. It is your greatest grace and the gift, the feeling of the gift within you will bring such blessing to your awareness, such blessing to all within your environment that you will literally watch your world change and transform simply through your awareness of being an angelic human. This is your gift. This is your joy. This is the blessing that you bring. The glorious message of you is so looked for within this world. Do not leave the world waiting.